my dad is an educationalist and I remember him talking to me years ago about the fact that um, it was at the time when GCSE and A-level results kept on getting better in this country and people were saying, oh, they're obviously dumbing down, you know, the questions are easier. And my dad said, no, of course they're not easier. We're just getting better at learning and we've, we've got more information, we've got more access. Um, and, and I think that's, that's true um, today and infinitely more access um, to information and knowledge than we had during that conversation. So I think we, if there are limits to cognitive flexibility and human creativity, then I certainly don't know what those limits are, but I feel we haven't yet reach them. Um, I'm sure there are individuals who are absolutely pushing the boundaries of their own limits, but most of us probably exist in a, you know, where, at a point where we're really only using a small amount of our cognitive um, potential. And that speaks to something that Rand was talking about actually in our call yesterday about the fact that in some ways the internet replaces the need for that deep thinking. And we have to find ways of utilizing new technology, utilizing the internet in ways that enable that deep and open learning and not a barrier to it or some sort of replacement for it. Um, I also just felt that there was a tension, completely agreed with what Rand was saying earlier about the need for a schema for now and a mindset for creativity. In my mind, there's a slight tension between that, which I completely agree with, and this false equivalence that we have now between an opinion and fact. Um, you know, having a conversation, for example, um, about vaccine, vac you know, vaccinating our children and uh, a fellow mum saying to me, you know, my, my friend's opinion that she shouldn't have her children vaccinated is equally as valid as the people that are trying to tell you to be vaccinated. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, unless they're, you know, <laughs> virologists or whatever, actually it's not, that, that opinion is not as valid. And, um, and, and yet um, that sort of seems to sit, not necessarily in tension, but um, as a, a complicating factor in, in Rand's vision.